I did a video previously talking about the features I'm most excited to see in Android 15, but those were features that were uncovered by the Android community. Features that we did see Google was actively developing, but as with many of those APK teardowns, some of the work ends up being cut out of the new Android update. So with the launch of the second beta for Android 15, Google has published a blog post detailing 10 new updates that were coming to the Android ecosystem. Some of these are coming with the update to Android 15, while others will be released before then. So one of the first new features coming up is private spaces. Private spaces is one of the features that we knew Google had been working on and it has been officially confirmed to be ready for the Android 15 update. This feature is to be treated like a digital safe within your smartphone or tablet, where you can hide help or banking apps, for example, so that they can only be found if the person knows the secret code. Not only that, but data within apps that are held in a private space include enhanced protection isolating their data and notifications from the rest of your phone even more than normal. Google wants to use its AI technology to sense if they believe someone else has snatched your phone and then attempts to run, bike, or drive away with it. When this theft motion has been detected, the phone will be locked down in an attempt to keep your personal information out of the hands of those thieves. Google Play Protect will be getting an AI-focused update later this year as well, adding the ability to spot apps that might engage in fraud or phishing attempts. This threat detection will use on-device AI to analyze how apps use sensitive Android permissions while also watching how they interact with other applications in real time. If an AI finds something that seems malicious, then it will send that information to a Google server so a review team can look it over and assess what is actually happening. If they determine that the app is actually trying to steal your information, then Google will warn the user and disable the app remotely. It was interesting this year to, see, to learn how well Google Pixel devices are selling in Japan. This increase in exposure has led to partnership opportunities and has allowed Google to work with KDDI and others to bring an updated messaging experience with RCS in Google Messages. Google Wallet looks to be getting an update later this year that allows you to add any item with a photograph. As of right now, you're able to add digital versions of items like gift cards and reward programs, but this new update will let you take a photo of everyday passes, like event tickets, library cards, gym membership cards, and more. Google Wallet will then create a digital card of the item and store it in the app for quick access. Later this year, we'll be getting an update to Google Maps that will allow us to access augmented reality content directly in the app. This type of content could help you to learn more about a location. It could let you see items of historical significance in a new and immersive way. With all of this work being part of the foundation that Google has been working on with their extended reality platform. Google Built-in has been working on adding support for streaming services like Max and Peacock, while also enabling some casual gaming for passengers as well. The company has confirmed it is expanding this platform to car models like the Acura ZDX, Ford Explorer, and more. Not only are we getting support for these types of apps and games, 
but Google Cast is also coming to cars with an update to the Android Automotive operating system. And this will start with the Rivian in a few months. Google also looks to be adding in AI technology to its Google TV platform as well. The company hopes that Gemini will make it easier for you to pick what you want to watch thanks to AI descriptions on the home screen, personalizations based on your favorite genres or actor preferences, and they are also looking to help fill in missing or untranslated descriptions for movies and shows just in case you cannot read in that other language. And last up, we have an update to Wear OS. As 2023 seems to have been a good year for the wearable operating system, with growth reaching 40% for the year. And later this year, the wearable operating system will receive battery life improvements. Google claims the update will consume as much as 20% less battery power compared to Wear OS 4 when performing certain tasks. This new update will also support more data types as well, including ground contact time, stride length, and vertical oscillation. It will be interesting to see how this translates in real-world usage. So while we are getting a glimpse at what is to come with Android 15 later this year, we also just learned about a lot of new features that are even coming to devices that do not get that big update, or those that may end up having to wait a year or two before getting the update. Let me know which features you are most excited about in the comment section below.